So hello everyone, uh, welcome to the course on Linear Dynamical Systems. So in this course we will mainly focus on introducing you with the mathematical aspects of the system theoretical tools that are required to do an exhaustive and in-depth analysis of linear systems. We will study linear systems both in the continuous time domain and in the discrete time domain. In addition, the above analysis would also be carried out for time varying and time invariant linear systems. Uh, this course is an advanced level course for UG students and would serve as a preliminary course for the PG students who are doing their specialization in control and related areas. Particularly for the first and second year PG students, uh, this course would be helpful to understand the pedagogy behind the mathematical proofs of various important results. For industry personnel, uh, this course would also be helpful from several viewpoints. Say for example, they should be able to do the introductory level linear mathematical analysis of the industrial processes. The prerequisite for this course is the same for both level of students. So that is a UG control course and basic concepts of linear algebra. The syllabus of this course is divided over a period of 8 weeks. In the first week, we shall cover how to compute the solution of linear state space systems and its realization. In the subsequent week, we will study different tools to determine the stability of LTI and LTV systems. Over the next two weeks, the concepts of controllability, stabilizability and the state feedback control shall be introduced. Subsequently, the concepts of observability, detectability and the solution to the observer design problem will be discussed for the next two weeks. The last two weeks are reserved for studying the tools to compute the poles and zeros for MIMO systems and the study of rational matrices etc. For better understanding of this course, at several places, we will provide you a summary and the review of background material on linear algebra before those concepts are being used to develop the results in this course. At the end of this course, two things are expected from you as a control engineer. First, you are able to visualize and understand the logical reasoning behind a given mathematical proof. Secondly, you are able to develop and explain your ideas with proper logical arguments. So once again, I welcome you all to this course.